Electronic games have come a long way since Pong exploded on the scene a few years ago. Perhaps owing its inspiration to the hit movie Rocky, one of the machines lets 98-pound weaklings play heavyweight champion. That's just one of the space age games of the new Sega Center in Fashion Valley. I think the newest developments would be the advent of the solid state video games and solid state pinballs away from the old style electromechanical devices that used relays. The play is much more challenging than it used to be and also your a space required per machine is smaller. There are just so much more they can do with the programming of these video games. It's just a matter of imagination what's going to come out next. What do you get for your buck? As you come in, you put a dollar bill into a changer, you get five tokens, which is equivalent to a dollar twenty-five. For that, you get escapement, you get fun, adventure, whatever you want. It's just something I like to do. Sometimes the machine beats you and sometimes it doesn't. It can really eat up the tokens, though, at 20 cents a piece. Well, if you really want to let yourself, you could probably spend thirty dollars, but I mean, I never spend more than five. And it can be expensive, but... Well, what isn't? Well, I'm having fun. I mean, I guess that's what money's for. 21-year-old Jim Jackson, a cook at Miramar Naval Air Station, sharpens his shooting skills at Plinkers Canyon. He learned to handle a gun, he says, quail hunting in Hot Springs, Arkansas. He racked up 1,780 points in one game and then topped that with 1,950. The kick comes from matching your skill against a machine. And if you've got the time and the money to spare, and you dig this sort of thing, well, I guess it's worth it. From the Sega Center in Fashion Valley, Jonathan O'Neill reporting for TV8 News.